Good day, Minecraftians. Purple Mentat here with episode 8 of FTP Pyramid Reborn. I've done some investigation of the power options and found them wanting, unfortunately. I think that we're going to end up sticking with coal until we have access to silver to be able to make some dynamos and actually do something fun and interesting. For the time being, though, we've been letting our farm run and got plenty of wheat, and we've got lots and lots and lots of sugarcane. We're going to be good on both of those for pretty much ever, which is the, the goal. Have massive, infinite resource generation of all types. Now, before I actually set up the new resource gen, I wanted to show you what I have planned for resources and for uh, organizing them. And that actually starts over here with energy laser relays, for which we need to make uh, 16 basic coils. Uh, what did I run out of? Oh, the crystal. Hang on. Fix that real quick. Go back to the basic coils. And then we're going to want to turn those basic coils into advanced coils. And then we can make our energy laser relays using most of our obsidian and some redstone. And I'm making 64 of these up front because it's easier for me that way. Then to turn them into item relays, we're going to uh, first... Oh, actually, one blast did it. I thought it wanted the fluid laser relay before it turned into an item laser relay. That's weird. So, what do I... Does that turn into a fluid then? No, it turned back into an energy laser relay. And then it turned into a fluid la laser relay. I don't understand. Why is it doing that? <laughs> there we go. Now it's back to item again. And the other thing that I'm going to want is the item interface. And I'm actually going to want a few of these. Do I have redstone? Like plain old basic redstone on hand? Of course not. That'd be too easy. Then I'd be like prepared and professional and stuff. And that's not me. Let's be honest. Uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and just grab a handful of these item interfaces. Uh, assuming I have chest. Yeah, let's grab... Let's make 10 of them to start. That'll be good. So we're going to need 40 basic coils to do that. Which is going to need... Um, what's that? 360 redstonia crystals? All of the redstonia. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... There. And then... Coils. Oop, 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 I ran out of iron. Or no, I ran out of black quartz. 40. Fantastic. I overdid it on the uh, redstonia, but that's okay. Very fast and simple to convert back. Fantastic. And the way I've got everything set up in here is with the palace crystal, palace crystal block, restonia crystal, restonia crystal block, etc, etc. And then aesthetic green block, which is made by um, transmuting quartz blocks, and aesthetic quartz, which is also transmuting quartz. Oh, the aesthetic green is done by chiseled quartz. I don't actually have a direct use for these just yet, but uh, um, I may have had one in mind when I made them, but I certainly don't remember it now. <laughs> uh, that's the problem with losing a bunch of footage. All right, so what's the idea with these? Well, basically, I'm going to toss an item interface on top of the resource generator, put item frames on all four sides, stuff the item laser relay on top, 
Ooh, and you know what else I need? I need the laser wrench. Which needs an advanced, uh, another advanced coil. Okie dokie. Professional prepared YouTuber here. Uh. Ha, 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 again. There we go. There we go. I'm also, I'm debating whether or not I want to shrink down the uh, storage that I have right now or leave it as is. Let me know if you'd rather see me use the, well, you know what? No, don't let me know. I'm going to do it. I'm going to use the two by twos because I'm going to, it's just going to work out better. It is, however, going to mean a bit of a mess right now. So, the big reason that we're going to have a mess is because we have so much stuff already. Oops. I think I need to shift right click that with an empty hand to be able to open it. So we're going to go ahead and dump as many upgrades as we can into that. And then we can easily fill it up with... Oof. That's rough. All of our excess... Uh, basalt because now when you uh have this many of the storage upgrade threes that's uh five by seven for uh a total of um 320 stacks to no 280 stacks so yeah an awful lot of stuff and i don't feel a need to have uh void upgrades on these because then the Resource generator will eventually ju just short itself out and not keep using power forever. Definitely prefer that approach. Now, once I've got uh, the proper... Ooh, you know what? Let's just go ahead and plop that in there already. And link the laser to the other laser. And we'll see that it starts putting the resources in the proper spots. Once I've got the resources that I want in each spot, oh, uh, you know, I'm not sure what else I want to uh, have in that one. So we're going to call that good for now. Um, I want to make sure that it doesn't put resources I don't want in those spots. And the easiest way to do that is going to be using the drawer key. <laughs> I'm out of uh, nuggets. Uh, that's hilarious. And that will lock it so that it won't be able to put anything in there that I haven't put in there. Now, um, I can go around and I can do that with basically every single one of these and get myself set up with a very large selection of different storage drawers in very small format. Now, the thing that it doesn't do still is show me how much of each resource is in the drawer. But that's also not a big deal in the long run. Because, one, I'm going to be able to fix that as soon as I have some feathers. And you know what? Let's check if we have any feathers. I might have gotten some from killing things in the nether. Does not look as if I did. thought I might have gotten at least one. I don't want to kill my one chicken, but it's also really easy, going to be really easy for me to make more just as soon as we hand in that uh, quest to get the diamond. So, uh, goodbye chicken. Oh, that's right. The clay tools uh, do zero damage because balance. So, uh, I guess I'm going to pickaxe the chicken to death because it's what I've got handy. Yay! Feather. Now watch me not have any leather left. That would have been hilarious. All right, leather, feather, and a bit of rice. Though I could use the sugar cane instead, because what I need is... Come on here. What's the paper recipe for rice? There you go. What I need is paper to make a book, to make a book and quill.
Ah, I need an ink sack. We got plenty of those when we uh, from when we had our uh, waterfall going down. If we ever find that we need lots of ink sacks, I might set up a proper spawning and killing pool. But in the meantime, I needed the book and quill to be able to make the quantity key. Which you can right click on something and now we can see exactly how much of each item is in the drawer. And part of the reason why I like this setup that I'm attempting here. Wow. I forgot just how much of each resource I had already generated. But part of the reason I like this setup is because the lasers just look really cool. <laughs> Honestly. And it basically serves the same purpose as a uh, um, drawer controller. It's just more expensive. But who cares about expensive? when we have literally infinite resources of every type, if we so choose. Oops. Not like that. Not like that. There we go. So with any luck, this will be the last time I decide to uh, redo all of this. You know what? We'll put... Uh, uh, do we want soul sand in there, or do I want to make its uh, soul sand its own thing? And also, I think I'm going to end up using a tower of compacting drawers for cobblestone. Yeah, let's uh, let, let's check that real quick. We'll do it together, do it live, and see what happens if we put some double compressed cobble into the compacting drawer. It becomes double, triple, and quadruple compressed. Okay, cool. And then if we put the quadruple in here, it gets up to sextuple compressed. That's actually kind of amazing. So yeah, I think that we're going to turn this uh, stack into that idea. Uh, because we can use the, uh, where are the flat item transfer node to <laughs> the thinnest of pancakes. Thinner than the thinnest of pancakes, small enough to fit between blocks. This will let me uh, have the blocks stacked up and it'll just transfer up from the bottom contract con uh, compacting drawer all the way to the top. And once I have multiple, multiple, multiple stacks of sextuple compressed cobble, I can pretty much rest my laurels and be okay on cobblestone, I think. I'm not sure, maybe I better dedicate one uh, high-speed resource producer to just making cobblestone. Anyway, you get the idea. I'm going to do the rest of this off-camera. Get the... Uh, I'm just having so much fun with these resource generators and, like, building different ridiculous uh, item wall systems. Honestly, like, this, this isn't, like, worthwhile use of my time by any measure, but it is a fun one, and that's all that matters to me at this time. Yeah, once I attach you, and we can put down... Hey. Hey. There we go. You, and you, then we can attach that, like that, and here to here. If you want to, you can do it that way. You can also, if you so choose, have all of them, like, connected... like so, and have um, one laser beaming into all of your lasers on the back of the drawers, or you can daisy chain them. It doesn't matter. They're all part of the same network, and each one of these item interfaces will consider everything in the network as part of itself, as you can see, because it just tried to put uh, obsidian into this box which isn't where we want it, which is why we wanted the why we wanted the key in the first place, but I forgot to remake a standard drawer key. There we go. Now the obsidian won't end up in the wrong place. You can see it uh, tick up bit by bit. Neat, huh? I'm pretty happy with it. All right, so I'll be back once I get everything, uh, all of this sorted out, and then we can talk about power. Please excuse the rain, folks. Nothing I can do about it right this second, but what I can do 
is make sure that it doesn't bother us with the noise. So uh, we've got our full laser uh, resource generation system set up now, and I think it's really pretty. I <laughs> just really like this. And everything gets compacted down to, well, I mean, barely any room at all, which is great. Also, I dedicated one resource generator purely for producing uh, cobblestone because I want to see if I can uh, max out this compacting drawer. Ooh, you know what? If I'm going to go for maxing out a compacting drawer, then let's see if we can... Uh, where's the... Uh, Oh, darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it. Where are my drawers? Drawers are my uh, inventory. It's a good place for them. Here. Great templates. I want at least seven, actually. And then the storage upgrades. I want to see if we can uh, max this out on septuple compressed cobblestone by the time we're done with this pack. And if we do, then we're going to start a new compacting drawer with the septuple compressed cobblestone to make the uh, octuple. Hang on. Septuple becomes the octuple, and that's the top end of it. And once we've got the octuple, then we might, uh, yeah, well, it's just like, wow. We'll call that good. <laughs> once we have the octuple. Uh, just for the fun of it, you know? Just to see, uh, with the amount of time that it's gonna take, uh, us to go through this pack at our ridiculously slow pace. And we'll, we'll probably be upgrading that eventually. Anyway, so I've been looking at the power generation options that are available to us now because I really wanted to get rid of the furnace generators and just do something better. And there's not a whole lot better available. The only thing that, uh, like, that is really solidly better and easily accessible before we get our hands on silver, which will get us into dynamos, is the RF Tools Coal Generator, is what I've heard and what I've been able to suss out. There's other options, but they require building significant uh, support systems, and I'd rather not do that until I have access to the RF Tools uh, Dynamos anyway. So the Coal Generator, uh, oops, I didn't grab any lapis. That's okay, easy fix. I've only got 10,000 of it. Uh, the Coal Generators, require some machine frames, and I'm going to go ahead and make up nine, uh, 10 of them to replace our current crop of generators, because word is that these are just a bit more efficient at burning coal and charcoal. So if I stick one down, we can take a look. One charcoal in here is producing 60 RF per tick. Unfortunately, it's burning faster than I can uh, watch it. But uh, here, let's uh, set one down next to it and see exactly how much RF it produces off of one charcoal. Because we know that one charcoal in one of these uh, furnace generators is worth 16,000 RF. It's working, working, working. There's 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yeah, far, far superior. And they can actually be upgraded if you know anything about RF tools. You can use your coal generator in the RF tools infuser, machine infuser, once you get access to your diamonds and dimensional shards. But, uh, I mean, you're going to need to do some work to get them. It's the emeralds and the prismarine that might slow you down. Uh, you can turn nether quartz into prismarine. Okay, so it's the emeralds that'll slow you down. You'll probably need to get your hands on the Amadron tablet and uh, buy your way to it with, I don't know, coal coke, rotten flesh. Take your pick. <laughs> 36,000 RF from one bit of coal or charcoal. So more than double. Yes, that is definitely an improvement. And one other thing that we're going to be doing 
since we're still going to be generating charcoal for this, I am going to set a dedicated uh, FTB resource generator back up for it. I really want to replace these cables, but that's not going to happen right this instant. Bump, bump. We might as well stop using basic coal and improve our efficiency slightly by using compressed uh, blocks of charcoal or coal. And the easy way to do that is just a extra utilities item filter on top of everything else. You know what? Let's, oops. Just remove you for now. Yeah. Oh, I don't have my filter, my item filter, or my transfer nodes on hand. And this is going to be probably, until I have, like, a real power system available to me, this is going to be my last, like, redesign. So you don't need to worry about me doing this on camera too much. There you go. I'm actually almost annoyed that I've done as much with the, uh, resource generation and stuff on camera as I have, but I just, this is, this is really fun for me, so, you know, play along, nod your head, pretend you're enjoying yourself. <laughs> I like tweaking and iterative, uh, iterative words. Words are hard. Slowly but surely adjusting builds and parts and stuff. I don't think I can generate the block of coal directly. No, the idea is to generate the charcoal and run that into a compacting drawer. And then set up the item filter to only extract the blocks. Try not to uh, break your uh, items like that very often on a server. Um, the server admin will be unhappy with you. <laughs> send stacks of your drawers, I mean, send stacks of things flying everywhere. Yeah, don't do it. There you go. And now it should only pull out blocks of charcoal as they become available, which will get stuffed into one of these and burn, 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 I think. Um, am I missing something with being able to put this in? Do I, do they, are the tran- are the- is it not happy with the transfer pipes? Is that my issue? Hang on, what have I missed? Oh, here's what I've missed. When I put the uh, charcoal into the compacting drawer, what I pull out isn't the forestry block of coal or the thermal foundation uh, block of charcoal or the uh, tiny progression charcoal block. It's the chisel charcoal block, which you can't easily burn. Which, uh, I don't know if that's intentional or a mistake, but it seems like a mistake to me. That's silly. That is very silly. So, uh, yeah. That means that we're going to have to replace this with uh, coal instead of charcoal, which is fine. Because I'm willing to bet that if I were to uh, craft myself... Well, let's find out if it is, like, the chisel block. Or, no, it's, the, it's still the chisel block. What happens if I chisel it into a proper, like, tiny progressions charcoal block? Mm, still doesn't like it. Okay, so it's not just the uh, chisel issue. It's also just, for some reason, RF Tools does not like charcoal. That's fine. Empty that out. Put you in. And this is set... Uh, oops. Need one of them back, please. This is set to block of coal whitelist. Coal, 
cool, 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 cool. Ow. That's just silly. And I suppose if I really wanted to uh, crank this up, I would start using uh, coal coke. But setting up the system to turn all of my coal into, to like, have a ton of coal coke sounds like a huge pain. Let me see if that's, uh, yeah. Thermal foundation. Oh. That might be an option. Redstone furnace and do it that way instead of having to, uh, make a, uh, um, immersive engineering setup. Pyrolytic. What do you take to crack? You have no recipe. <sighs> That's fine. Yeah, we're not going to bother with the cold coke. <laughs> okay. So yeah, new power. Seems to be operating. Yes. And because I don't want to uh, wait for them all to fill up, we're going to go down the list and give them each a bit so that they can get to uh, running now because I know that these will outperform the old furnaces and provide more than enough power to keep the coal production constant. Mm, where's my keys? Now, one other thing I wanted to do I'm enjoying the idea of making it so that I have basically infinite of every resource. I think I'm going to include at least some of the alloys in that, because that's fun to me. And we've got the power um, surplus to go ahead and do that sort of thing without care. Man, that's pretty. So, first step along that line is to get ourselves some induction smelters crafted. Now, induction smelters require invar, which is a blend of nickel and iron. The easy way that, uh, to do that right away, I think, is going to be to make use of the... Didn't we make a pulverizer? Could have sworn I made a pulverizer. Just the redstone furnace, huh? Man, I'm getting my... Uh, um, wires crossed here. Yeah, okay, we don't have a pulverizer yet. That's fine. So, um, the easy way, in my opinion, is to start with a pulverizer. And to do that, first I'm going to empty out a bunch of my inventory of random bits that I've been using. I will keep the power. And we're going to be making use of the item laser relays quite a bit, so I'm going to hang on to those. You can go away. You, a lot of this stuff can disappear for the time being. All right, so we need some copper and some tin. We've got some iron and gold. Redstone. That should be about everything we need. Ooh, I should I should set up a glass producer as well. Yeah, that would that would be neat. Have one that is just glass. Oh, Cooper's uh, saying that I had a pulverizer in the box. Maybe uh, something else was being pointed out to me. No, I'm not certain. I'm recording this on live stream as usual. Oh, there it is. I knew I made one. Just put it in the wrong box. Silly mentat. Okay. So, once we've got uh, a little bit of uh, this ground down... We only really need to do this for the first bit. After this, we'll be able to speed it up significantly. The iron combines with the nickel like so to create invar blend 
And the Invar blend you just cook in your choice of furnace to produce your Invar. Boom. And the Invar is required as one of the components for the induction smelter. You need two Invar ingots to be able to make it. Otherwise, basic stuff. I'll be right back once I get that done. One induction smelter. And the great idea, the great thing with the induction smelters is, you know, I really need to set up a proper machine area, but I keep putting it off and not getting it done. Oops. Oh dear. Whew, that was close. <laughs> I adjusted my uh, trip while I was in midair. Don't do that. If you're using that sort of drop down option. I really need to set up a proper area at some point, but for now we're just gonna go ahead and plop you down and run some power to you. And this is gonna be the start of us being able to get rid of these cables and start making use of thermal expansion, kind of everything. Metallurgical flux slot locked. Well, that's new to me. Anyway, nickel plus iron in the, unlock that in the induction smelter. This is another way to create your invar. Same ratios. It's also how we create Constantin. Again, same, uh, well, similar ratio. One nickel and one, uh, what's that, one or two copper? One nickel, one copper to two Constantin. So, the plan is to have the Invar and the Constantin producing all of the time. To do that, we need to make sure that the nickel, uh, the induction smelter has an endless supply of nickel and copper or iron. To do that, we're going to make use of a new one of these item relay devices. Specifically, the hopping item interface. Simple enough, right? Do I have any chests on hand? Of course not. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, yep, let me go just grab some lumber. The only thing that this won't do is give me all of my uh, items accessible easily from my inventory at all times. <laughs> Uh, at least that I know of. <laughs> that would be amazing, though. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and make a few of these. There we are. Total of 11 of the item interfaces now, and we can combine some of those with our hoppers to make item hopping interfaces. Hopping item interfaces? Yeah, one of them. And once I, ooh, you know what? I'm actually going to want to move that uh, furnace up some. And, we're gonna have one further issue. The hopping item interface doesn't actually have any UI for you to interact with at all. So what you need to do if you wanna make sure that you're only putting the proper items into that UI is you need to hit up the advanced item laser. And that requires adding an advanced coil, a redstone, a crystal, and a black quartz to your item laser relay. We're gonna want two of those for right now. Hmm, it's the advanced coils that are going to be the annoying part. So, two of you, 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 two of you,
two of you. We'll remember that recipe. And let's see, one, two, one, two, one, two. That'll do. To advanced item laser relays. So let's head down there and show you how we're going to put this together. For one, we're going to want the uh, induction smelter one off the ground so that we can put a hopper underneath and a hopper on top. We're going to uh, clear out the everything and we're going to make sure that we have. Uh, can I do. All right, those two going here, and everything, all exports, uh, inputs on top, exports on bottom, basically. Then we put a regular item laser relay on the bottom and an advanced on the top. And we link, link. And in the advance, we can set inbound whitelist. Let all items through an empty blacklist can be used to let no items through an empty whitelist can be used to configure site and items, place them, or configured item filters in the slots. We're going to put in nickel and iron. So this will only uh, accept nickel and iron from the system. And the reason we want the hopping item interface is because this will allow us to use what's currently in our drawers as one of the options. Bam. Laser connected. Laser connection modified. Oh, ooh. did that work? It looks like it may have worked. Huh. This may not be working quite the way I want it to. All items from the adjacent to this relay will be added to this part of the white or black list. Outbound, we don't really care about. Well, something's gone wrong, that much is certain. All right, it's producing the invar, that's good. Auto outputs enabled, redstone control off, good. I should be able to add the invar to the one of these drawers and have more start. Yep, more is showing up. It's cooking the invar. It's just not pulling the nickel or the iron. And it should be, as far as I'm aware. I'm not sure why it isn't. So I'm going to do some diagnosis on this and figure out why that whitelisted advanced item filter inbound isn't working for me. Right, that's got it sorted. So the inbound and outbound are opposite of what I would expect. Inbound means into the network. Outbound means out from the network. So I actually want my nickel and iron on this side. And then if I link you to you, it will start running. That's actually really cool, I think. <laughs> Ooh, that's an issue. Here, let's try that and that. It doesn't seem like it tries to round robin it, though. Like it's keeping the iron full, but not the nickel. That's OK. That's easily sorted. We put only nickel in the top, and we are filling the top like so. And you can see, did some nickel just go in there? Or is the metallurgical flux slot locked stopping that from happening? Yep, there we go. Now nickel's uh, going in. Excellent. No problem. So if I'm doing it that way, let's see if I can use the regular item interface without needing the advanced. Nope, it's trying to put something that isn't the iron in there at this point. So we do need to make more advanced item laser interfaces. Relays are either part of the same network, store relays. Oh, there we go. 
get rid of you, put you down, give you iron, on outbound, and bink, bink. And there we go. Now this uh, induction smelter will produce endless amounts of nickel and iron. Which should get uh, pulled out once I reconnect you. Excellent. Now the next step is to set up another one of these and do the same thing with the copper and the uh, nickel to produce endless amounts of constantin. But I can do that myself off camera. Now you've seen me set up a uh, smelt a induction smelter to auto smelt endless amounts of an alloy. I'm gonna, not going to do it on camera again. And that's honestly all the time that we have for today. Ooh, you know what? We're gonna yeah, there we go. So now it's got a place to put it. Ha <laughs> ha. So thank you very much for joining me, folks. Hope you've enjoyed today's episode. I sure have. If you have, leave me a thumbs up. Tell me what you liked. If you have not, leave me a thumbs down. Tell me what you'd like to see me do better. Either way, you want to see more of this series, please click subscribe. And if you want to get notified every time I put out a video, please click that little bell next to the subscription. In between episodes, I'm going to go ahead and get the other induction furnace set up, I'm, and I'm going to start preparing for what's next on the agenda, which is going to be finishing up our uh, um, goals for next week and getting blaze powder, because I have that uh, potential available to me. I want to get blaze powder, powder duplicating. It, uh, it's going to be good. And then we've got a couple of other things that we might end up checking out as far as other recipes go. Once again, thank you, and I'll see you next time.